Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about all the books that I will hopefully be reading in December. Baby, baby. So this is my December TBR. I have 10 books picked out for me and I'm also going to be spinning from my spinner wheel. I don't really have a lot of Christmassy books on my TBR just because those are kind of like a mood read for me and these are 10 books I definitely want to read this month that I'm very much looking forward to. For the Christmassy ones I want to read, those are kind of like spur of the moment decisions for me. So a lot of them aren't on this list. But before we get into those 10 books, we're going to be spinning from my spinner wheel. So if you didn't know, um, I have channel memberships. You can join down below. And one of the perks for being a channel member is um, putting a recommendation for a Kindle Unlimited book onto my spinner wheel. I will spin the spinner wheel every month for my TBR video and whichever book that it lands on is the book that I have to read that month. Sometimes I'm not able to read the book because of certain circumstances, but I will let you know now I'm trying to get caught up in all the past spinner wheel books I have not read yet in December. So I think there's only two that I haven't read yet. Okay, spin, let's see. Okay, we have Tamika's pick. She picked Rush by Brianna Hale. Let me look that book up. So I know that Tamika adores Brianna Hale. I've never read one of her books, so I'm trying her out for you, Tamika. This one is a rock star daddy romance, I was it? That's what it says in the title. It's gonna be interesting because I don't like rock star romance. <laughs> so we're gonna see how this works out. Or I'm not that big of a fan. There's very few rock star romances that I like. The heroine says that Rush Osman is the type of man she has had her fill for hundreds of lifetimes. But the energy about him pulls her in. He has captivating energy. He's dark, magnetic, and he has big daddy energy. She says that he pushes her to the brink and then holds her there until she shatters. His punishment is a rush. Falling for him is a rush, loving him is a rush, but being destroyed by him is the biggest rush of all. I'll see how it goes. I will try her out for you, and if I don't enjoy this one, Tamika, I will definitely check out a different, uh, Brianna Hill, definitely. Um, but this is the one she picked for me, so I'm going to give it a go for December. I'm going to be adding it to my Kindle library right now <laughs> okay so the books that i actually picked out for myself first we have when we first met by cara bastone this is book 0.5 in the forever your series the first book in the series is uh just a heartbeat away which i adored i've been loving cara bastone i've read the first two books in the series and then this is the prequel so i believe this is a neighbor's romance between cat and quentin cat is really wanting to get with quentin's roommate but quentin really wants to get with cat so there's a little bit of a dynamic there obviously um it's only 61 pages and i got it through libby as an ebook so hopefully i will love this one as much as the rest of the series next i have lover and Unveiled by Jared Ward. I am working my way through the series. So this is book number 19. I don't know anything about this book. And I don't want to know anything about this book because I go into Black Dagger Brotherhood books blind. The Black Dagger Brotherhood series is a vampire romance series all about a group of vampires who are called the Black Dagger Brotherhood who they who protect the vampire race from these evil creatures you read about in the series. So this one is about Savage who is a powerful MMA fighter with the buried secrets that could change the world of Caldwell forever. Caldwell is a city where the Black Dagger Brotherhood series takes place. So I'm very much looking forward to this. I'm hoping that I like it. Um, some of J.R. Ward's newer releases in the series haven't been my favorite thing ever so we'll see how I feel about this one later on in the month. Next I have Claimed by L. Kennedy. I don't know why but this book has just been calling me. I've had this book for like maybe a year but I know that it is a favorite from Riley over at Riley Marie. She loves this one. I'm ready to dive into it. Libby has it on audio for me so that will just speed up the reading process. I think this is a post-apocalyptic world and it's about Hudson and Connor. Hudson ends up escaping her life with her tormenting father and she brands herself an outlaw and is hunted by the enforcers. Her best chance at survival is Connor McKenzie, an aggressively sensual fugitive who opens her eyes to the wicked possibilities of a world without rules. As the leader of a band of outlaw fighters, Connor can't resist the beautiful stranger who, ha who asks him for protection. Despite his reservations, he agrees to introduce her to a whole new way of life. But when Connor discovers Hudson's connection to the enemies of liberty, he wonders how far he can trust the woman who has abandoned all inhibition 
Kennedians to challenge every forbidden desire. So I've never read an L. Kennedy. I know, shocking, everyone loves L. Kennedy, but I know that people really enjoy the deal by her. So hopefully this one can be a great read as well. I'm trusting Riley on this. <laughs> Next, I have A Touch of Stone and Snow by Mila Vane. The audiobook will be coming in for me on Libby in the next couple weeks during December. I'm very much looking forward to this. This is the second book to a Heart of Blood and Ashes, which is a fantasy romance. This is a fantasy romance series called the A Gathering of Dragons series. I don't really want to read the summary for this one all that much. All I know is about a woman named Lizen and a um, hero named Axoran. Um, that's all I know. I adore the cover and I love the other cover because there's the cover that I have on Goodreads, but then there's also the cover that I see on Libby and I love both of them. So I really enjoyed the first book in this series, fantasy romance series. So hopefully I love this one. Um, I don't really know what it's about. All I know is that there's royalty, there's dragons, and of course there's chili pepper times, you know? So I am looking forward to this. If you've read this book, let me know how much you liked it and if you liked it more or less than book one. I'd love to hear your opinion. Next, I have Goddess of the Hunt by Tessa Dare. I'm trying to read all of Tessa Dare's backlist, and this is, I believe, one of the first books she read, if I'm not mistaken. It was published in 2009, and a lot of people, unfortunately, have said that this is not their favorite series by her, but my audiobook does come in through Libby during December for this book. So I will read the summary for you because I don't know anything about this book and I personally do want to read the summary for this one. Ever the bold adventurous Lucy Waltham has decided to go hunting for a husband, but first she needs some target practice. So she turns to her brother's best friend, Jeremy Truscott, the Earl of Kendall, to hone her seductive wileys on him before setting her sights on another man. But her practice kisses spark a smoldering passion, one that could send all of her plans up in smoke. Jeremy has an influ influential type Title, a vast fortune and a painful past full of long buried secrets. He keeps a safe distance from his own emotions, but to distract Lucy from her reckless scheming, he must give his passions free reign. Their sensual battle of wills is as maddening, maddening as it is delicious, but the longer he succeeds in managing the headstrong temptress, the closer Jeremy comes to losing control. When scandal breaks, can he bring himself to abandon Lucy to her ruin? or will he risk his heart and claim her as his own? That sounds good, but I believe this is her first published book. And so like, I'm a little nervous because I know that people don't really love this one, but um, I'm gonna keep my expectations low and hopefully it doesn't get lowered even more. <laughs> Next, I have Sweet Captivity by Julia Sykes. I don't really know all that much about this book, but it is available through my Audible Plus membership. And I was like, why not? Let's pick out a book on Audible Plus to put on my December TBR. The summary says, I don't like to be touched. I'm the hacker geek goddess of the FBI. When I'm hiding behind my screen, I'm a safe distance from everybody, isolated, powerful. No man has ever touched me. But when I'm captured by Colombian drug lord Andres Moreno, I no longer have the right to refuse. He's scarred and scary, and his cruel brother Christian has tasked him with breaking me. I try to fight, but I can't escape his strong arms and harsh discipline. He demands that I accept his touch, and my body can't help but respond to his masterful manipulations. The longer I remain trapped with him, the more I come to suspect that I'm not the only captive in his brother's home. Andres' scars go deeper than the wicked wicked furrows carved upon his flesh, his pain reflected in the dark demands he imposes on me. His obsession is twisted and wrong, but maybe I'm twisted too. Do I want to be rescued from him, or is he the only one who truly needs saving?" That sounds good. Um, it sounds like a dark romance. I haven't read a really dark romance in a little bit, so I'm ready to dive into this. This sounds really good. I might start it any day now. Next, I have another Audible Plus pick. We have Getting Real by Emma Chase. One of my favorite narrators is narrating this book. We have Andy Arndt. I adore her. She's one of my favorite audiobook narrators. Oh, she's so good. Um, but I've read the two previous books in this series, and this third one came out recently, I want to say. I was like, let's let's do it. I really enjoyed the first two, um, and some of Emma Chase's books are my favorite of all time. The Royally series by her is a freaking masterpiece. I adore that series. So this is about Connor Daniels, and he never thought he'd be starting over at Dating Square One. His career as a successful doctor and his three boys are everything to him. It's not exactly a setup conductive to a scorching love life, but 
he's giving it a shot. ER nurse Violet Robinson never intended for Connor to find out she has a crush on him. She has had a crush on him for forever. It was a dirty little secret only meant for her dirty dreams. Her heart trips every time he's around and so do her feet. <laughs> when Connor sees Violet coasting across the grocery store parking lot and she falls on her face, he starts falling for the gorgeous young nurse right back. Dating can be tricky and life can be beautiful and crazy and unpredictable, but when it gets real, you discover what matters most, the one person you want loving you through it all. That sounds so cute. I love a good doctor romance and I don't read a lot of a uh, nurse romances either. So maybe this one will be so good. I have the next book in the Corsairs Brothers series, which is Caspar. I had a goal of reading all of Ruby Dixon's backlist by the end of 2021. We'll see if I can do it. I still have a few books, uh, less than five, I want to say, but they're all kind of longer than what I'm in the mood for right now and none of the ones that I have left are available on audio anymore um, or they're not available yet because the audiobook hasn't been created for them yet because they're all her new releases. So Caspar is the second book in this series. I adored book one, Adarion. You have to read Adarion to fully get this book. I would not read this book as a standalone because this book starts out with the ramifications of things that happened from book one. This series is about each brother, so Caspar is one of the brothers, um, getting there like happily ever after and finding their mate. And so Caspar gets stuck in this space pod with Alice, this human woman, and the two of them are in close proximity with one another for quite a while. So this is their romance and I can't wait to read more about them. Next I have a book that I downloaded off of Kindle Unlimited last month that I really want to read. This is the one Christmas book that's on this list. Again, I'm going to be reading Christmas books, just this is one I definitely want to read. And this is um, Becoming Mrs. Claus. Okay, so this book takes place on a planet called Rika 5. And it's like Christmas season and the heroine's job is to bring back the perfect Christmas tree until she meets the man who is going to help her find the Christmas tree, which is Trad Deck. And he is everything she is terrified of. He's massive. He's an alien warrior. He has sharp fangs and really, really, really big claws. She is really scared when she first meets him, but her body reacts with more than just fear. And she is left wondering if it's true what they say about guys with big claws. So this sounded super cute. It's only 94 pages. So I feel like this will be really entertaining and fun to read during the Christmas season. And the last book on this list is Seducing My Guardian by Katie Robert. Um, I'm trying to read all of the Touch of Dab Taboo series and this is book number four. So this is about Hazel and Devin. The night that Hazel's parents die, she meets a stranger who tells her that he is her new guardian. But then he ships her off to boarding school and ignores her for the past three years until he shows up on her 19th birthday to save her. For six years, all he's ever done is shown up on her birthday. And when he does so, he ends up tempting her like nothing else. But that all ends during this book I guess because she ends up turning 25 and at midnight she gets control of her trust fund and so after she gets her trust fund she never has to see Devin again and she will get away from him driving her absolutely crazy and tempting her like nothing else. So this year all she wants for her birthday is 24 hours with her guardian. After nine years of taboo desires and built up lust she has a lot of unfulfilled fantasies to act out. So she's gonna have one night with him and then be on her merry way with her trust fund. And I'm guessing it plays out a little bit differently than that because this is a romance book. I know some of my friends absolutely love this one. Um, I adore Katie Robert and her whole Touch of Taboo series so I hope I love this one as much as the previous books. So there you have it. Those are all the books that I plan on reading in December. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. If you've made this far in the video leave me a Christmas tree emoji because hello um I hope all of you have a great holiday that you have a great December um but yeah thank you all so so much for watching I will see you soon in my next one bye y'all